can't believe Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. Fuck yes. Mom would kill me if she knew I was out here. Holy shit. This place is awesome. If I'm gonna get inside, I'll have to get through that door. Those excuses out of me. Those guys need to get a room. Or not. Damn. Mind your own business. I understand. I understand, really. And, and, and it won't ever happen again. This RV's just begging for a little street art. But if I do it here, someone will see me. Trust with me. Now, what to draw? Definitely, absolutely not a meth lab. This place has collected a lot of junk over the years. This band shreds so hard. I gotta get in there. I'd join a motorcycle gang, if I had any friends. Nothing says badass like a nice floral print. Help you, miss? You gotta let me in. Check it. I'm totally legit. It's not a bad fake, kid, but you're in over your head here. Do yourself a favor and scram. Can't let him push me around. Should I go back? God, again? What do you want, kid? I have to convince this doorstop that I'm not giving up until he lets me inside. Don't you remember what it's like to be a teenager? I just want to see the band. I thought we went over this. Isn't it past your bedtime? Aww. Isn't it past yours? <laughs> Real cute. But I still don't know. Look at my face. Do I look cute? Or do I look like I'm going to kick your ass? <laughs> okay, kid. I get it. You're tough. Maybe I am a kid. Because this place looks like a damn playground to me. A girl like you? I can't protect you in there. A girl like you with pretty, pretty flowers on her bicycle shouldn't lecture me on what I can do. That is a traditional Samoan... <laughs> Look. My boss decides who gets in, all right. Is your boss your mom? Follow up. Do you live in your boss's basement? You... You're not accepting no for an answer, are you? Nope. <laughs> and you really think you can take me? Yep. What if I had a knife? No problem. A gun? Don't care. What if I had... You could have a flamethrower, an army of robot ninjas, and a motherfucking dragon on a leash in there, and I'd still kick your ass. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> You're all right, kid. Go on in.
This is intense. Oh, oh, shit. Hey, Delia, mm -hmm. come. You dog. Just follow the lights and the sound. Can't wait to get in there and thrash. That dog is fierce. What's her name? Delia. She doesn't usually like people. Yeah. Me neither. Half those stairs are rotted through. Looks dicey. Yo, Frank! Hey! Chloe? I know your name, you idiot. You bought pot for me every month for a year. Look at that get up. <laughs> Studs. You're trying too hard. What are you even doing here? I'm here to see Firewalk, man. They rock. How'd you even hear about this little shindig? God, the internet. How else? Seriously? Fucking kids. Okay, so you holding? I could definitely use something to take the edge off. Of course. As soon as you give me the 175 bucks you owe me. Shit. Do I really owe him that much? Unless I find some quick cash around here, I can kiss my high goodbye. How about you spot me some? You know I'm good for it. <laughs> no way. I learned my lesson last time. Money first. Never mind, then. Uh, suit yourself. How can you just chill when Firewalk is tearing it up in the next room? Reminds me of the way I make important life choices. Don't you judge me, spooky deerhead. I'm here for the band. Drink more, feel less. Three hundred dock workers laid off. That's totally me in five beers. Okay, three. Here we go. You okay? I'm fine. Relax. You bumped into me, remember? Yep. My bad, dude. You don't know who I am, dude. Nope. Don't care either. And let me know how that works out for you, bitch. All right. Mosh pit is a no-go. Fine. Maybe I no, can no, get a better no, no, view no. of the action from up above. She returns. Did you see that guy I ran into? Acted like I was supposed to know who the hell he was. Ah, uh, yeah. I know him. He works for Damon. Damon who? This is his place. He's a friend of mine. About that weed... Uh, here it comes. 
Never mind, then. Uh, suit yourself. I can't believe Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. Fuck yes! Mom would kill me if she knew I was out here. Holy shit. This place is awesome. If I'm gonna get inside, I'll have to get through that door. Let those excuses out of Those guys need to get a room. Or not. Damn. Mind your own business. I understand. I understand, really. And, and, and it won't ever happen again. This RV's just begging for a little street art. But if I do it here, someone will see me. Trust with me. Now, what to draw? I can't believe Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. Fuck yes! Mom would kill me if she knew I was out here. Holy shit. This place is awesome. If I'm gonna get inside, I'll have to get through that door. Let those excuses out of you. Those guys need to get a room. Or not. Damn. Mind your own business. I understand. I 
understand. I understand, really. And, and, and it won't ever happen again. This RV's just begging for a little street art. But if I do it here, someone will see me. Now, what to draw? Definitely, absolutely not a meth lab. This place has collected a lot of junk over the years. Shreds so hard. I gotta get in there. I'd join a motorcycle gang if I had any friends. Nothing says badass like a nice floral print. Bask, you mortals, in the light of the glowy bear. Dad was so proud of me for winning that stupid science fair. No more unicorns, no more princesses, and no more fucking rainbows. Words of wisdom don't fail me now. Just ask Steve Jobs. Max made me this mix CD years ago. And because it was Max, not a single song was pirated. As awesome as some of those shows with Elliot were, they were nothing compared to Firewalk last night. Mom said I was too young to go. She was wrong. And it was awesome. I used to love skateboarding. It's the only mode of transportation that doubled... I really should get going. I bet long Max Silver traded her hat for beer and booty long ago. Shit, where's my phone? God, it's not here. How drunk was I last night? Chloe, I said breakfast. Guess I better try calling my phone with mom's. Okay. Mom's phone is probably in her room. I can use it to call mine, then figure out where the hell I left it. How can Mom look at this every day and not see what a tool she's dating? Sounds like my phone is definitely nearby. There we go. Wonder how many calls I've missed.
Chloe, breakfast. Bring my purse down with you, please. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think I saw Mom's purse in her room. The preferred towel of Captain Bluebeard. Scourge of R. Mom's hiding her gray hair to impress her boyfriend. Maybe gray hair is his kryptonite. Maybe I should dye my hair gray. Mom's old engagement ring. Grade B? Fuck you, Arcadia Pond. Wait, Mom's selling her engagement ring? Sometimes you have to get knocked down lower than you've ever been to stand up taller than you ever were. Blech. Don't give up on yourself. A single spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie better. It's weird that mom's always hoarding these old catalogs. It's not like we have any money. Mom's finally making her bed again. I guess that's a good sign. You'd think mom would keep a picture of dad on there. Bad enough that David comes here for dinner. I hate that she hides all our old pictures of Dad. What's the matter, Mom? You don't want Dad to see your new boyfriend? You don't deserve to be stuck in a drawer like this. I made this for mom when I was like 10 years old. If she wore it now, I'm not sure which of us would be more embarrassed. I need to talk to you. Yeah, that really makes me want to hurry. Coming, Mom. Finally, you can put my purse on the dining table. Might still have time for breakfast if you hurry. Dining table, here I come. Dad took these photos. Now that David's staying over so much, I wonder how long it'll take Mom to shove them in a drawer somewhere. Any letter from Blackwell is never good. Is Mom having trouble with payments again? My scholarship doesn't cover everything. Mom doesn't want me to know, but it's pretty clear her boy toy, David. Aren't you glad you left for Seattle? Aren't you glad you left for Seattle, Max? Dad always talked about upgrading to a flat screen. Too bad that family pic used to hang here. I... Wow. I can't actually remember which one. <laughs> Hard to believe I was an eighth grade science athlete. Did I peak in middle school? From when Max and I spilled mom's wine. I think the only reason mom hasn't recarpeted is so she can stay mad at me. It's my job to water these plants, but it was Dad's job to remind me that for Mom in an art class when I was like five. She was never a smoker, but it's cool. I was never an artist. Wait, 
Those aren't Mom's keys. And these would be David's keys. There's probably a better place for them than the ashtray I made Mom. Like his... <laughs> Little dude's like, what the hell just happened? Shoot. Why do I suddenly want... This is Principal Ray Wells. Let me be emphatic. I have an enormous stick. Chloe, I don't have all day. Would you get over here already? I should see what Mom wants before she strokes out. Dad's old swear jar. We spent the last of his curses on bus fare and milk. How can bacon smell so good, but I'd still rather stuff these sugar... Pot roast? Mom hates pot roast. It's not that I'm ungrateful. It's just that when your mom works in a... Hey, Mom. You wanted to talk? When I send you a text message, Chloe, like last night, I need you to answer. You can just say text. You don't have to say message. And I need you to answer without the snark. Sorry. I hear you. I'll do better about replying. Thank you. Is that what you wanted to talk about? What is it with you and David? Always cutting to the chase. Why can't we just have some pleasant conversation before school? Are you selling your engagement ring? Chloe, jewelry gets appraised for all sorts of reasons. Like for insurance. Nice dodge. How about this? You don't go in my bedroom when I'm not there. How about you don't ask me to get your damn purse, then? I thought you hated pot roast. You can have a no thank you helping. No, you hate pot roast. I don't care. I don't hate it. And David likes it. And don't say you don't care. So that's what we're doing now? Whatever your boyfriend likes? You do realize I hate your boyfriend with every fiber of my being, right? Chloe! You don't hate him. He calls me girly. He's a dickhole. He can be old-fashioned. Yeah, an old-fashioned dickhole. Ah, right. School. My favorite. You used to love to learn. Yeah. I used to think drugs were lame, too. I wish you wouldn't joke like that. Let's not fight. I made you breakfast. Nah. I'll just grab something later. Oh, you'll enjoy this. The other day I made four eggs, two for David, two for me. And just before I served them, he says, what are you going to eat? I'll enjoy that, huh? Tired, huh? That'll teach you to break curfew. What? I know what time you came home last night. And don't think you can get out of school just because you missed the bus again. Why would you assume that... Who do you think your principal calls when you skip? Do you think I enjoy lying for you, saying you're sick just so you don't get expelled? Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. But, Mom, the whole point of lowering expectations is so you won't be disappointed in me. Never again. You're happy doing what you're doing? Fine. Keep at it. Just let me know so I can stop fighting with Blackwell to keep you on scholarship. Money's tight enough as it is. Maybe I just need to be left alone. Maybe you're 16 and don't know what you need. David thinks you need discipline. David should mind his own business. I think it's great David's taking an interest. He's a good man. Maybe he can help. Dad was a good man. That's not fair. I'm glad your father still has a place in your heart. But sometimes we need to make more room in our hearts for new people. And sometimes, when we're incredibly desperate and lonely, we choose the absolute wrong kind of people to let into our hearts. 
Mom. David's had some hard times, too, you know. If he's kind enough to share his experience, I expect you to listen. <laughs> like I'd let him get within 15 feet of me. When he takes you to school today. Very funny. You will be nice. You will be respectful. And you will say thank you. Are you serious? This is such... What, Chloe? Such what? <sighs> Mom's trying. I guess. Maybe I should too. But what's the point in getting along if it means pretending everything's fine when it's not? Mom, I know you're dealing with a lot. Thank you. I understand you don't need me as much anymore. But I need you. I do still need you. You're my mom. I'm proud of you for being so self-sufficient. But the whole world's not out to get you. Tell that to the world. You're impossible. But I love you. I love you too. Mm-hmm. Okay, David's waiting. You'll need to bring him his keys from the ashtray. Try not to kill each other. Got it. Unless he tries to give me advice. Or looks at me funny. Chloe. Or looks at me at all. Chloe. Mom. Have a good day. You too. Bringing David his keys is about the most humiliating thing Mom could ask me to do. No point in putting off the inevitable torture of driving to school with David. I better get going. What a piece of crap. The car, too. Why do you women always take forever to get ready? We're hoping you men will leave without us. No, Mom. I swear he beat himself to death with a tire iron. Repeatedly. Electrode insulator's probably cracked. You know what a spark plug does? Yes. It ignites. Did you not hear me? I said I know what it does. Then go grab my socket wrench set from the garage, and we can get moving. What is this? Quality time? Ugh. Better just get the tiniest penis in all of our Katy Bay. What's David doing, leaving stuff in our garage anyway? Does he think he's moving in or something? By toolbox, did David mean this, or did he mean himself? Fifty-fifty chance I smash him in the face with this. Sixty-forty. Maybe ninety-ten. If it's in my garage, it gets my special treatment. What message does David really need to hear? Got it. Do these have chapters on hot wiring your mom's boyfriend's car so you can drive it off a cliff? Dad's toolbox. He used to get so excited whenever anything sprung a leak or David's lawnmower. Maybe mom and I like our lawn the way it is. Uh oh. Mom's been cleaning again. This was the photo mom took down from the living room. Guess we don't have room for it and David's mustache. Dad's old camera. Do they even make film for these anymore? Yeah. The stereo used to be in Dad's workshop. 
I should hook it up in my room before it's garbage. Should fill this with gasoline just in case David's car ever catches on fire. Uh, a little more hustle wouldn't have killed you. See what's gunking up the works there? That's a sign of carbon, carbon deposits. Deposit. No shit. You know, you could actually be good at this if you lost the attitude. My attitude is what makes me special, David. All right. Fine, whatever. Hey, you're taking those tools with you, right? Every house needs a good toolbox. <sighs> We've already got one, but thanks. <laughs> Ready to roll? Please don't want to talk. Please don't want to talk. Please. I want to talk to you about something. Fuck! We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. You've enjoyed enough of a vacation from having a father figure. So there's some things I want to be real clear about. Respect him? I think it's time I show this asshole I'm not interested in anything he has to say. What's clear is fuck you. Language. You are way out of line, young lady. Language? Shema Pell don't give a shit. You've got a smart mouth, don't you? Let me dumb it down for you. I mean, sorry, what has fewer syllables than dumb? Hey, watch your... I can crap bigger than you, got it? Then I hope you're a better plumber than you are a mechanic. You... Your mother... You're breaking her heart. Leave Mom out of this. This is about you and me and you being an asshole. I was in the army. You will respect me. You're not my father. You're not even on the same planet as my father. My job is to make sure you and your mother have a safe and peaceful home. Do I come to your place of employment and... Oh, that's right. You don't have one. If you were a man, I... It's I'd... cool. If you were a man, I wouldn't go so easy on you either. Don't know why I bother trying. Mission accomplished. Country music. Dad loved this song. I just called to tell you that I miss you, my friend. What a beautiful day. I know what a spark plug does to your body. This, this isn't right. If mom were here, she'd tell him to turn that junk off. Dad, turn it up.